Hey everybody, welcome to How To Tuesday this week. We're continuing our series with Captain Scott Walker where he goes through his SimRad unit and helps us to all learn how to use our electronics better. If you have a SimRad, this is particularly interesting. If you want a SimRad, you can obviously go to SimRadYachting.com and find out all about the ones that Scott's using. He's been going through a lot of these videos and or, or he's been going through a lot of these tips and many people are finding that it is better to watch this than to listen to it. A lot of people are able to follow audio. That's fine. But just to let you know, these uh, videos, this whole series is available on the Saltwater Experience YouTube channel. You can go there and see actually what Scott's doing with his hands, how he is uh, pushing the buttons and what menu items he's picking and then what the result is on the screen. So a lot of people are finding that very beneficial. If you would also like to see these in video form, you can go to Saltwater Experience YouTube page, just as easy as going to YouTube, searching Saltwater Experience, looking for the Tom Roland podcast on that page, and this video will be there. So anyway, we got Scott on the boat. He's ready to do another one, talk about another feature of the SimRad uh, sonar, which is a very popular one. This is one of my favorite ones. Um, it is possible that you can scroll back through the, if you, if you pass over something, you can scroll back through and set a waypoint. Now this was almost impossible. Not too long ago, you would have to actually take the boat and physically go back around. So what is it? available now is this feature to where you can keep going on your merry way and you can scroll back through and set a waypoint. I love that feature. Scott, how are you using that feature? Could you show us how to do it right there on the boat and uh, and tell us a little bit about how you use that to catch fish? All right. So a lot of, a lot of times I'm mutton fishing and I'm looking not at the bottom machine or I catch a fish and I didn't see anything he marks. Wow. Look what I just went over. I'm just gonna go onto my machine and tag it right there. I stopped the machine and now I'm gonna save that point. Exactly. New waypoint, name it, interesting, hit save. And then you can, on your chart, you're gonna go, it's gonna be a new waypoint that you can just burn up, grid it, however you like to attack. And I'm gonna get rid of that. But it's as simple as, all right, we're going to watch it. This one that's going by. We know Mark's by. What did I just go by? Wow, I went by that and I didn't do a loop. How am I going to get back to that? I'm going to tag it, waypoint it, save it, and now it's on your GPS, and you're going to come around and work that bait that you missed 10 minutes earlier. Really cool feature. All right. Thank you, Scott. That's the track back feature on the SimRad. That is an excellent feature. It will definitely catch you more fish, definitely put more spots in your GPS, and you can go back and fish them later. As always, this is brought to you by Waypoint TV. Waypoint is available everywhere. You can see it anytime, anywhere. It's completely for free. Go to waypointtv.com and hit the Ways to Watch page to find out how you can get it on every device. All right. We'll see you next week.